welcome Deborah Lynn here in the studio. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. You guys, I'm just getting ready for a painting here. Some very vibrant flowers. I'm going to be doing this with watercolor and spray ink. So stick around. Right now, I am spraying my wells, making sure everything's activated. I don't have these topped off today with fresh paint, so I have to hit them with just a little bit of water just to reactivate them and get them nice and juicy so when I'm ready to rock and roll, those things are nice and wet and easy to come out of the, the wells. I do highly recommend uh, paint from a tube. I feel that the paint that comes in the little wrappers, uh, you just don't, you can't get the consistency that you want. Um, sometimes you need to have very thick, um, almost cream-like consistency, and it's nearly impossible to do. So, like right now, when I put those centers down, I have like a cream-like consistency, and then I thin it out. So you do need a ton of pigment to hit your paintbrush. And these Magello paints, what I love about them is that they are they, they never really dry out all the way. They stay very kind of gooey and sticky. So they reactivate beautifully. Um, so I, I can't I, 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 I can't stress enough a stress enough how great they are. I love Daniel Smith paints. They have fabulous paints and they granulate and they do beautiful things. It's a fabulous line. Um, but those are the two lines that I prefer. Daniel Smith and um, this uh, Mission Gold Magello paints. I am using bright clear violet for the purple and then I have red violet and then the center that I just dropped in there was the magenta um, quinacridum magenta and then I end up using um, olive green for my uh, for my background so this painting is very cool in colors I'm not bringing in yellows. I'm not bringing in anything opaque other than the white watercolor. Um, that's the only thing opaque that happens in this painting. Um, so it's really a fun painting. When I start bringing that um, aqua in, oh, it just takes it to the next level. And I use just a little bit of, um, the um, the turquoise uh, hue that's from Magello that comes into play, but then I end up throwing in some turquoise Vive from Ranger that is the Delusion Spray Ink. The stuff is fabulous, but it it it's it's ink. So the 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 moment it hits that paper and wherever it hits that paper it's not going to budge. But the minute like it hits and reacts to other pigments or it reacts to the Dr. PH Martin, it changes in different colors and it's just like oh, it's just so fun to use. And I know some of you guys are very very traditional and you like straight up watercolor. And this might not be the one for you. This is a mixed media piece. So I I love pushing it to the next level. Um, I hate paint playing in the boundaries. <laughs> I'm always looking to do something different. So um, it's hard to contain me. So there goes that uh, quinacridum uh, magenta. It's a little bit more red. Um, but it's really pretty. It ended up being really pretty in the painting. Um, worked really well. So the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is your pigment to water ratio. If you put, if you're blend, so you put, let's say you did that center of that flower and then you start blending it out. Now what I'm seeing in the group is you guys are blending it out 
but you got like this big wash of like pink or purple and it's going all the way to the end of the paper. Well, it doesn't make sense. Um, you have to have that thinned out. It has to be able to blend out to white. Um, so keep that in mind, okay? If you've got too much pigment and it's blending out too much, you're gonna have to go in with some tissue and back some of that out. Either you're gonna have to hit it with your watercolor brush and activate it, go in there with pig with some tissue, pigment up, pick it up, and then you can go in for a second layer and um, kind of work around all that. So you guys, I threw in a couple ugly stamps, okay? It was a bad move. And you're seeing me react to the stupid thing I just did, so I'm just kind of fixing it. Um, so I'm just spreading things out. I'd have to put a green background in anyway. So, you know, you just have to roll with it. When you make, uh, when you make a bad decision, um, just, just work with it and fix it and move on. So now I'm making some really kind of animated, uh, large moves here with my pigment. I'm not quite sure where I'm going in my mind because I don't picture this flower being so big. So I, I, I I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> I don't. That one petal is like monster big. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll just roll with it. Um, it ends up working out anyway. So that's the thing too, you know, as the other pigments come and get splashed in and things happen, things all change. So don't freak out along the way. Um, I got all those splatters I just put on, on the paper. I'm not freaking out about them. I'm like, okay, uh, that's good. I'll just rock and roll around them. Um, so uh, let's see what else is going on here. Oh my gosh, you guys, you have to. So speaking of when we do our pieces, you know, we're painting and sometimes the water gets away from us and our paintings just get muddy or they just go south on us and they end up being a hot mess and they're just, there's some, there's some tissue I had to put down to control the water. And uh, it just turns out to be a complete hot mess. And we got the world's ugliest painting known to man in our possession. And you're like, I need to throw this in the garbage. Well, now you can, I have something that you can do with it instead of throw it in the garbage or burn it yourself. Um, you can roast it on my channel on Facebook. <laughs> we have the best time. We have a post that if, if you made a bad piece of art, you can throw it into this feed and uh, we'll roast it for you. So we're all, we all, we're laughing. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. It is so funny in there. You guys have got to join this group. It's fun. And I, I try to help you guys as much as I can. If I, if I miss your painting, I'm sorry. Sometimes they get away from me. Um, please, I'm going to ask you a big favor though, you guys. If you join the group, don't just throw random artwork in there. Okay. I don't want to see oil paintings. I don't want to see acrylics. I don't want to see anything like that. I don't want to see pictures of cows because we're not working on cows. You know, I don't keep it to what we're strictly, what the YouTubes are. Um, it doesn't have to be the current one. It could be one I did two years ago. You know what I mean? It just has to come from my channel. Just kind of keep it with that and I'll be able to look at the stuff and help you. If it's something like your cow picture, I'm not gonna help you with a cow picture, you're on your own. So just keep your, and please don't post them because I'll take them down. I, I'm, not gonna have, I'm not gonna have the group filled with all kinds of random stuff because that's what so many other groups are like out there. They're so full of people just posting their art and there's people that have created these uh, these groups, but they're nowhere to be found. They're seriously, no, I don't know who the people are to the groups. And there's nobody controlling the group. There's nobody, uh, it's, they're, yeah. So this group is completely different, you guys. So you're gonna have to think of it differently. You can't just randomly post random art, okay? Uh, post what you're working on that you've done from one of my tutorials and we'll 
I'll try to be able to catch it and review it and help you out. If you don't, if I really ask you guys, you know, open to open to, you know, critique or something, say something to let me know. Cause sometimes it's, I don't know if I should say something or if you really don't want my, my opinion, you know, um, so it's kind of, I, sometimes it's hard for me to know when I should interject and say something. For the most part, I think it's always good to have corrective criticism when somebody sees something. And um, I think that's beneficial. I didn't tell you, oh, well, you know, it's wonderful when there's actually some serious mistakes going on. So um, I try to help out the best I can, you guys. I don't profess to be some kind of guru with uh, watercolor. I'm also on a journey with watercolor, but what I have learned along the way, I'm willing to uh, share that with you guys and do the best I can with helping you. So come over to the group. We're having a lot of fun. And um, so where am I with this painting, you guys? Let's take a look. I've been jab jibber jabbering here. Um, I'm just spreading out the bright, clear violet. No, that was the red violet. And sprinkling in some water for texture. When that hits that pigment, it kind of leaves little white spots. Now I'm sprinkling in some depth. I'm creating a balance now of dark splashes. So I hit it in three areas to balance things out. I am creating some texture with some little twig marks, not too many, just a few. And now I'm going in and I'm making some circular marks by scrubbing out some pigment. Um, as you guys probably had seen in maybe a previous video where I did the big round uh, like pod like things uh, where I scrubbed the, the pigment out. I'm kind of doing that on a very small scale here, but then um, I'm also going to do the same thing but add Dr. PH Martin Bleed Proof White. And when that Dr. PH Martin Bleed Proof White hits the pigment, when I've got it on my brush and then I'm swishing it around in a circle on pigment, that kind of turns into an opaque watercolor like gouache. It's not gouache, but it turns into almost something like gouache. So it ends up being really pretty. So you have this very, very translucent painting, but then you have these few areas that have these very opaque spots. It's so it's really pretty. I, I really, I like this painting a lot. I was really pleased with how it turned out. You'll have to let me know what you think by commenting that. Commenting, that actually helps uh, with my YouTube. Um, also, it, it helps me move forward and be seen by more people. So if you comment, that helps. If you hit the like button, hit the like button right now. I'm not gonna say another word unless you hit the like button. I want this video to have the most like buttons. Hit the like button. <laughs> uh, you know, all those things help. So please do, please subscribe. I mean, that's the main thing. Um, I'm looking for subscribers. So if you've been on here, I know most of you that watch my YouTubes are not even subscribed. Um, so, you know, I'm looking for you guys to hit the subscribe button, um, and follow along. And by hitting that little, once you subscribe, then you can hit the little bell and that bell notifies you when I post something. So if it's at a Saturday afternoon, you have nothing to do. All of a sudden you might get a little bing that says that I've posted a new video, then you can go quickly go watch that on your Saturday when you're bored with nothing to do. So see how that works? <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm having so much fun with doing these uh, watercolor paintings for you guys and having the community. It's, it's such a blessing, it really is. And I absolutely adore all you guys. Yeah, you guys, some of you got the best personalities. I just love you to death. You guys are the best. 
So I'm pretty much nearing the completion of my painting here. I'm just doing some finishing touches. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys finish watching out the rest of this. Um, there's only a few more minutes left. And in the meantime, oh wait, wait, no, it's not. We're not even close, Deb. Ugh. Okay, so I'm not leaving. Okay, you gotta have to deal with me a little bit longer, you guys, sorry. I'm making my turquoise zigzags. It's like I'm like sewing them together. <laughs> I'm just like sewing the petals together back and forth. Um, that one looked kind of goofy there, so I'm kind of backing it out. Um, but this is the turquoise hue and oh, it's so pretty. It was such a good color to throw with this great pop of color and the minute I threw this in I was thinking oh I've got to grab that spray ink that color that's called turquoise vibe I've got to put this in the painting so I'm already thinking that I'm thinking oh I like this I gotta I gotta get more of this how am I gonna do that oh yeah the ink and that what's cool about that ink, oh guys, when, I want you guys to watch this ink and how it reacts, okay? I'll, I'll walk you through it. Yeah, I'm not leaving. Um, so right now I'm playing with the actual paint, okay? And I'm just doing little finishing touches with that turquoise before I get the spray ink out here in a minute. And I'm, sp I'm shaking in some of that turquoise, in shaking it in, okay, with the watercolor. Now, I'm gonna grab the spray ink. I gotta go to my closet and grab it. And there I am, I've got it. What happens is, this stuff, the, it mingles with other colors, and it just, it, it creates its own colors on its own. It's so cool. But the minute, the minute you put that ink down, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna budge because it's ink. Um, so wherever you put it is where it's gonna stay. So you gotta have to embrace it. But the minute you put like Dr. P.H. Martin on it, oh my goodness, it really takes it to another level also. So this stuff is fabulous and it's not that expensive. Although you can blow through a bottle pretty darn quick, at least I can. Um, and I think it's about $8, something like that. You can find it on Amazon. I have it all in the description box. From the brushes to the paints to the spray ink to like crayons that I might use in the background. I've got a bunch of that dumped into the description box. Um, so check that out. So now I'm actually dropping. I've got, I've got some Dr. P.H. Martin on my brush and I'm going through all that. Look what it's, how it's reacting. It's, it's because that ink is still wet and it's mixing with that pH, it's just, it's doing some really cool stuff. Um, so that, that, that made it a little psychedelic cool. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, okay, we're at the very tail end of my painting. I'm gonna sign off for now. In the meantime, you guys, stay safe out there in this crazy world that we're living in. Uh, stay well. And may God bless you guys all in your lives, and may he bless you mightily with your art. Okay, you guys, bye for now. Until next time.